Good day. In this video, we're going to look at exponential equations, and I'm quickly going to run through five good examples. In these questions, what makes them exponential equations is that there is an x in the exponent. So you will see that there is an x in the index, and we have to solve for x every time. Because we want to solve for x, we want to get the x alone. So I move this guy to the other side. I assume you know your basic rules of mass, like if you want to get a minus 256 to the other side, you plus 256 on the other side. I'm not going to use those big words. You understand the basics, you're now in grade 10 or older. Then you times this 2 with the x gives you a 2x in the air, and you prime factorize this with whatever method you use, you get 2 to the power of 8. Now the bases are the same. So you drop the bases, and you get 2x equals 8. You divide by 2 on both sides, you get x equals to 4. Please stop the video, look at this equation, and see what happened. The next exponential equation we're going to do, it says solve for x. We need to get that x alone. But what we do is we move this stuff away from x, furthest guy first. So I'm first going to take this guy to the other side, using mathematics to get him there, so I plus 250 on both sides. Now we move the 2 away, 2 times 5, I divide by 2 on both sides. That leaves me with 5 to the power of x plus 1 equals 125. Then I keep this side and I prime factorize this, it becomes 5 to the power of 3. Now the bases are the same, so I drop the bases, I get x plus 1 equals to 3. Then to get the x alone, you minus 1 on both sides, you get x equals to 2. That's the final answer, we solved for x. You will see that each one looks a little bit different from the next one, just to bring everything together. This one again, we have a 3 times 3 over here. Because the bases are the same, we're going to add the exponents and leave the 81 for a minute. And on the right hand side, we prime factorize again, because now we can get the bases the same, and we add the exponents like I said. Then we drop the bases, because the bases are the same, and this is 3x plus 1 I write down, with equal to 4. You minus 1 on both sides. Then we divide by 3 on both sides. Your final answer, x equals to 1. If you have trouble understanding what I'm going to do next, please look at the other videos that we made on this channel on exponents simplify. I took the 10 to the other side because we want the x's together on one side in this case. I also expanded this 3 to the power of x minus 2. actually means 3 to the power of x times 3 to the minus 2. If you don't understand this, just stop the video and don't look any further. Now we factorize out and pull out a common factor of 3 to the power of x. Put a bracket over here and you say 3 to the power of x times what will give me 3 to the power of x. And that'll be 1. Then you ask what do I times 3 to the plus? You ask what do I times 3 to the power of x to get this? 3 to the power of x times 1 will give me the 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of minus 2. I just bring this down, close the bracket. Then I quickly worked out this piece over here. That's the 1 that I wrote there. And then this part here is 1 times 1 over 9. Look at the video, negative exponents, if you don't understand. It's 1 plus a ninth. That's 1 and a ninth. That's what I got over here. So this 3 to the power of x comes down. This becomes 1 and a ninth, and the 10 weights. Then I changed the 1 and a ninth to an improper fraction, 10 over 9. I rewrote this piece over here, and to get this away from this 3 to the power of x. One possible way is to times by 9 over 10 on both sides, because this 9 and this 9 will cancel, the 10 and the 10. Now the 3 to the x is alone, this became 1, so it falls away, and then if you cancel this out, you're going to get a 9. Now from here it's easy, we prime, prime factorize the 9, 3 to the power of 2, of course, the bases are the same, they fall away, and x equals to 2. Please stop the video and look and see what happened here. This is the last one of this video. What we have to do is we have to use the laws over here and change this to a more handleable situation. You're supposed to know that this is 25 over 100, and that is a quarter. And don't get a fright. The law says if you have brackets next to each other, you're going to times x times x is x squared, x times minus 3 is minus 3x. That quarter came from here. The quarter you change to a 2 to the power of minus 2. Now the bases are the same. We drop the bases, we get x squared minus 3x equals to minus 2. This now becomes a quadratic equation. If you have an equal with an x squared in it, you 
you take everything to one side where the x squared is positive. Then you have a quadratic equation that you factorize. That gives you two factors, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals to 0. You get two answers from here. You've got x minus 1 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. So your final answer is x equals to 1 or x equals to 2. Please stop the video and make sure you understand what happened here. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and if there is any mathematical problem that you have that's on school level, grade 1 to grade 12, you can send the problem with a WhatsApp photo to this number and we will look at it, try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free.